In this video, we're talking about product to sum formulas or product to sum identities. And the reason is because in this particular problem, we've been asked to turn this product into a sum. So we've been given this value, cosine of theta times sine of 3 theta. Obviously, that's a product because we have cosine of theta multiplied by sine of 3 theta. And what we've been asked to do is to change this, to manipulate this value, so that instead of being expressed as a product, instead it's expressed as a sum. So the way to do that is with a product to sum identity. The one we want to use is this cosine of u times sine of v, which tells us that when we have cosine and sine multiplied together, and we have these angles, so we have cosine of the angle u and sine of the angle v, then we can break this apart into a sum, and the value is going to be 1 half times sine of u plus v minus sine of u minus v. So you can see that v is going to get plugged into these two spots, and that u is going to get plugged into these two spots. So if we apply this formula to our example, cosine of theta times sine of 3 theta, we can say that this is going to be equal to, using the right-hand side of our formula, 1 half multiplied by sine of u plus v. So sine of u plus v. Well, u in our case is theta. Let's just go ahead and box those so we know. So u is theta and v is 3 theta. So when I see sine of u, I'm going to say sine of theta plus v. So v is 3 theta, so plus 3 theta. Then according to the formula, I'm going to have minus sine, so minus sine of u minus v. Well, in that case for us, that's theta minus 3 theta. And that's the end of our formula. So notice that this is already the difference of two sine functions. We just need to simplify it. So we're going to get 1 half times sine theta plus 3 theta is 4 theta. So I'm going to get sine of 4 theta. And then here, minus sine theta minus 3 theta is negative 2 theta. So I'm going to get negative 2 theta. Now technically I could leave the answer in this form, but it's a little messy having this negative angle. So in order to fix that, I can bring in this extra formula, which tells me that sine of negative u is equal to negative sine of u. So when I have a negative angle on a sine function, I can just pull that negative sign out in front. So I can take this negative sign, bring it out in front of the sine function, and the negative times the negative is going to be a positive. So I'm going to be left with 1 half times sine of 4 theta, and then instead of minus, I'll have plus sine, and we brought that negative sign out in front, it made this a positive, so we're left with sine of 2 theta. I could leave my answer just like this. I could also go one more step, bringing the fraction into the two terms here and turning this into sine of 4 theta plus sine of 2 theta, all divided by 2. Any of these answers are acceptable. This is probably the cleanest one. But in any of these cases, notice that we've turned what was a product into a sum. And that's how you use product to sum identities to manipulate a trigonometric function. Could you use some extra help with math? Click the button to head over to calculusexpert.com. It's where I've collected and organized all of my best resources, including exclusive videos, notes, quizzes, and even formula sheets. It's the perfect resource whether you're struggling, or if you want to take your learning further, or even if you just want to save yourself some time studying. So check it out, because I know it'll help.